Salute comrades and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3. My name is Vadim and my point of the day, guys, like life is short. Life is really, really short and I realize it, uh, you know why. I realize it's uh, playing uh, Sims uh, 3 uh, like about a year ago when, when in my first run uh, like uh, I was busy like uh, making a career like buying stuff and all of a sudden both of my sims uh, become old and died and left no children so <laughs> it is so like this was a game over for me because uh, like it was hap it happened so soon and like that's it like no children and uh, you see I it's actually a deep thing uh, I I thought a lot about this so you know see uh, we uh, busy we try to do things we like do different uh, we do a job we do and, and let's play we do and uh, like different activities and uh, see we uh, uh, lose concentration uh, once in a while and uh, we end up in situations like when we have uh, had a shitload of time and didn't achieve anything for uh, this period. So, yeah, it's uh, a very philosophical thing, uh, like, uh, and it's not about just the children, but uh, you know, the, there is a thing that called middle age uh, men's crisis. You know when. Um, men uh, reach uh, about 30 uh, 35 years and they realize that their youth uh, is gone and they and they didn't achieve anything and they try to overcompensate it uh, in a different ways and they like it makes them de depressed even more and uh, and after that it is just a very sad story so yeah, and I thought about it uh, a lot and you know for instance I thought when I was want to be to have uh, my first child and it's maybe it's it it's soon maybe not so soon so I had a uh, different uh, ideas uh, the one is uh, like that uh, uh, man uh, like you know the woman is most desirable in <laughs> like her uh, 18th, uh, from 18th to, I guess, uh, 33, 30, uh, not 30, but 23, 25, like after that it just goes down, her attractiveness. And the ma man reaches uh, its uh, full attractiveness in 30, 35 years when he already done ta something for the community, when he has a, a nice uh, job, he he's responsible and so on and so forth, so yeah, and uh, my one of my ideas is not to marry up to uh, till uh, 35, but the other one is that if you will not uh, uh, like be quick with uh, with the children, you know, you can become in the Sims situation when you can uh, like well, you will have one child or even no child, and th this is terrible because. Uh, and you know, in Ra one uh, wise man in Russia said that the best, uh, your best, uh, uh, I don't know the words, but your best retirement plans is to, retirement uh, plan is to have uh, a lot of uh, loving and uh, capable children. Yeah, so if government will uh, fail to like support you financially, the children will never have the loving capable children will never fail you in like helping you yeah so this was a t uh, this is a tough choice for me so yeah and this is the thing that I'm dealing with so so okay let's go back to the game it's uh, been uh, quite a time uh, since the last video we have continuing uh, crushing USSR we've reached uh, Moscow uh, yeah, half of USSR, uh, like, after we uh, uh, captured lots of territories, uh, half of uh, European USSR uh, was uh, uh, given to Finland, uh, half European USSR to Switzerland, 
the central USSR was given to England and uh, the eastern USSR like Siberia w was captured by Japan and <laughs> USSA didn't get nothing uh, although we uh, had a terrible uh, like support like uh, there is a huge part of uh, this success is uh, from us we've declared war uh, anyway so this is quite bad but it's okay and <laughs> by the way the funny part the brazil as a brazil uh, this uh, making descent on the north of ussr it, it captured a couple of territories but actually they uh, they just uh, shooting in their foot because uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, very hard to supply units there and uh, um, not to send my armies to deal with this problem with uh, these uh, forces, Brazilian forces. I rather uh, send some ships uh, to raid the convoys and uh, to patrol the shores uh, of uh, Brazilian territory, uh, of new Brazilian territory. So that uh, they will, uh, their troops will uh, become out of supplies very, very soon and. Uh, uh, my allies will crush them just with a couple of divisions very easily so this uh, won't take too long to in dealing with them uh, <laughs> yes oh, it, it will be quite a fine and uh, USR choose to continue to fight option and uh, I don't know why but I guess uh, it's a bug of uh, Hearts of Iron 3 when uh, when a country uh, choose a uh, continue to fight option, <laughs> all of a sudden all of its territories goes to the vict to the victor, yeah, to uh, countries that uh, occupied some of their provinces, and uh, shitloads of divisions become on the enemy territories uh, encircled, and uh, uh, like it's very easy to surround them to kill them, yeah, completely, uh, and. Uh, yeah, there is a uh, lots of terrible, of um, very dramatic and uh, situations uh, where uh, this uh, this uh, type of event uh, just uh, changed uh, the title of the uh, of the war uh, like instantly. Yeah, and uh, I decided to to finish uh, USSR off with. Uh, couple of uh, with a nuclear strike and uh, yeah because after uh, this uh, user chose this option uh, Moscow stayed uh, um, for USSR and I haven't uh, instantly noticed that I thought it was for, uh, for Switzerland uh, they had a pretty pretty much the same color like almost the same color but when I uh, saw that mm, uh, there is a, there was uh, lo loads of divisions uh, in Moscow, so it wouldn't uh, be easy to uh, win uh, this win this province in a conventional combat. So I have uh, decided to finish them off with nuclear strike. So because of that, all of organization of divisions uh, in Moscow became zero and the first fight uh, that my allies started uh, just. Uh, destroyed all of its division because they were encircled and uh, like Moscow was taken and I have uh, sent all of my troops uh, on the uh, east uh, to fight Japan yeah, and some of them on uh, the Middle East uh, to capture uh, some neutral, ca ne neutral countries because like I, uh, who's not with us uh, that one is against us, yeah, that's kind of saying, so... So we will... Uh, we will not be to tolerate... We will not tolerate uh, the rejection, rejection of uh, joining uh, allied fraction and democracy. So, yeah, if you're not democratic, yeah, we will declare war on you. Yeah, that's our position. Uh, and then... Uh, then yeah oh well, i guess uh, for this video that's it yeah, yeah so a lot for today uh, thank you guys for watching and comrades dismissed